All right, here's a quick video on how to export contacts from Spruce. So if you navigate to the Contacts tab, you can go ahead and select Individual Contacts and click on Export, or you can select all the contacts that are part of the current contact list and click Select Export. When you select all the contacts through the Select All checkbox, it will select all the contacts, even the ones that may not be visible on the screen, but, the one, but they meet the criteria of the contact list. So your contact list may have 5,000 contacts, and even if you can only see 100 of them, and you select the checkbox here, then all 5,000 will be selected. So exporting of contacts is flexible in that manner and gives you the ability to export you know, all your contacts if you wanted to. And you can click on Export Contacts, which will begin a CSV export of all your contacts, and it will show up under Activity Reports. So I'm going to go ahead and um, initiate the uh, export, and then I can navigate to Contact uh, Activity Reports to see uh, the export in progress. So the export is an asynchronous operation, which means that it may take a while to complete. In this case, my list of contacts is small, so it completed pretty quickly, but the larger the list of contacts, the longer it takes, and you can come back to check here when the download button is available. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the download button, which will download a zipped file, which is a, co a compressed file containing three different distinct files. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this folder, and you can see there's three dis distinct files. The entities that CSV contains of all the contacts top level information. So I'm just going to open it with a uh, text edit here to kind of show you what this looks like. So you can see it's got the first name, last name, middle name. The key is the Spruce ID, the contact ID. It's got gender, date of birth, invite status, whether they've been invited to Spruce or not, the category, whether it's a patient or a professional, all the tags associated with the contact. Uh, if you have a hint or relation integration, it'll also contain the hint and relation IDs in here. The contacts contains all the um, contact values, which is like email and phone number. And there's essentially one row per contact value per contact. So let's just say that this contact, I don't know if this contact has, well, actually it does have multiple values. So you can see that, you know, these two IDs are the same. Uh, and the reason there's two entries in this table is because this contact has two different pieces of contact information. One is an email and the other is a phone number. And it contains the phone number and the email address here. If there were labels, then the label will also be specified in this row, but there is no label for them, which is why the label section, uh, sorry, field is blank. But if you have five, if you have two phone numbers and three email addresses, there'll be five rows representing all the contact values for that specific contact identified by the, by the Spruce ID. And then you also have custom fields, so I can go ahead and open, you know, if you have any custom fields for the contacts, they also show up in a different file. Uh, where the key is basically the Spruce contact ID. And then they have the name, the field name, which in this case happens to be blood type. And then you have the field value, which in this case happens to be, you know, B positive, A minus, whatever it is. And right here you can see this contact has two custom fields. So it's basically got two rows, one for custom field value that fully describes all the custom fields on the contact. So those three fields in, in together, I'm sorry, those three files together describe your export. And you can use this to ingest it, you know, this information into different systems or do what you will with the entity being the top level piece that gives you, you know, describes all the relevant fields that are the demographic information of the contacts.